And finally, let's talk about the COVID vaccine. That's the only thing required by restaurants, Broadway theaters, and orgies. You know how we're all confused about who should get a booster shot and who shouldn't and what a booster actually is? Well, it turns out the experts are just like us. A shot of confusion rather than go with the booster recommendations of the CDC's independent board of vaccine experts. President Biden's top doctor at the CDC, the CDC director, agreed with instead the FDA and expanded third shot eligibility to those working in high risk jobs, such as people who work at grocery stores and schools or frontline healthcare workers. The issue is not just about who should get boosters, it's also about the confusion and possibly even undermining the vaccine effort. Yeah, it's kind of confusing when you have two sets of experts telling you two different things. You know, that's why I never go see a doctor for a second opinion. I just go straight to WebMD and what they say goes. So anyway, I have ovarian cysts, guys. But because this is all very confusing and important for us to figure out, our very own Michael Costa has volunteered to help us understand these complicated issues in a brand new segment called Under Explainer. Boosters are here, and they could be a powerful weapon against COVID. So let's get right to it with the basics. First, what's a booster? Great question. A booster is a shot of a vaccine that is not your first shot, in some cases, not your second. To boost means to lift. Here, I'll demonstrate. Ball me. See, I'm boosting, or I'm lifting. Now, to be clear, this is a basketball. It's not a booster shot. A basketball cannot be injected into the bloodstream. Next question, why do we need boosters? Well, some studies have shown waning immunity over time. These studies were done by scientists studying people. Now also, the scientists were people as well, but they were not in the study. That would be unethical. What are ethics? That's a topic for a different underexplainer. Another important question, what is the controversy about the boosters? The controversy stems from a debate between the White House, the FDA, and the CDC. Specifically, FDA stands for Food and Drug Administration, CDC stands for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the White House is where the president lives, the American president. Finally, the big question, who can get the booster? Well, right now, the booster is available for people in three categories. Those who live or work in an at-risk setting, the immunocompromised, and those over 65. And some of these terms are a bit confusing, so to be clear, when I say over 65, that's referring to the number of years you've been alive on Earth. I hope that helped. For more information, log on to my website, which you can find on the web. Booster! Wow, what a waste of time. Um, I think maybe just talk to your doctor.